Welcome to Shorty Supercoach and welcome to my press conference in what will be the last press conference of the season. It does go fairly quick at times, it seems. We do a lot of research pre-season and then you get frustrated at certain stages throughout the season and before you know it, those final rounds do tick by very quickly. Hopefully you had a good weekend. Hopefully you've had a good season because I think even when we do have poor weeks, we're heartened by the fact that you know, there's next week and maybe next week you'll score that big one that you wanted to. And, and look, we've got no more weeks to go and, and this is how I ended up. Um, 2,509 there in the top 10%. And, and look, the, the real number you want to look at is overall touch outside the top 10K. Um, and look, that's, that's disappointing. Um, it is disappointing when you look at it overall. Clearly, I wanted to do better than that. Um, Whereabouts here it is history. So I'll show you my scores and, and really it was just again a sluggish sort of a start um, Not exactly what I wanted through the buy period But my back end of the season was was really good by the numbers But of course a lot of people have good sides by then and, and you know a 2500 isn't quite what it seems you know early in the season if this cares to load at any stage in the near future. But um, yeah, hopefully you had a good season. I'll go through the leagues in a minute. Um, hopefully they load a little bit quicker than this. Um, but yeah, certainly overall, I, I felt my season was was okay. I mean, it's competitive out there, you know. It, it only takes a couple of wrong decisions to really put you right out of that top 10,000 and... You know, clearly it was far from perfect, but I, I don't think I made a stack of errors. Certainly the starting team could have been better, and a couple of trades through the season could have been better as well. But, you know, it's probably probably where you find yourself, you know, a couple of off choices, and, and you're just outside where you want to be. But um, So, obviously, you know, that's they're the buyers there, 12 to 14, and, and they just weren't good enough, you know. Look at those rankings. Um, that's the overall, isn't it? You know, to to get out to 30,000 after round four, it's just not good enough. You know, the first week was good. And, and then I managed to bring it back to, you know, what was it, 15K as a stage in the buys and then just fell right out with a couple of poor weeks and, and just struggled to really get back there but you know that there, there were some really good scores in that latter stage of the season <coughs> excuse me but um you know clearly the standards lift a bit and you know it is difficult to go up in rankings too so late in the season it is tough because obviously there's far more points separating you in different rankings you know, the first three weeks you can outscore your mate by 100 points and you go miles up the rankings you know just because everyone's sort of feeling each other out just finding their way in terms of rankings where it's fairly settled come the end of the season you really need incredibly good scores to go well but um just checking my team how they went in the final week you know i brought in seedsman and taranto for walters and webster um you know, Seedsman was solid, Taranto not so, he was clearly the, the best option in my opinion of what I could manage. Um, he was consistent, he'd been playing through the middle, but um, look, that's just how that goes. Um, Lloyd, really good, Brayshaw, really good, Simpson, you know, not his best, but he's been great for me this season. Laird, really good, Hurley has been poor, and he's an example of one of those trade-in targets that just hasn't quite worked. I mentioned Seedsman. You know, Dangerfield was outstanding. VC loophole, beautiful. Um, Tommy Mitchell, solid. Cripps, solid. Likewise for Merritt, Oliver. Crouch, a tad down. Fantastic from Cornelio. And Martin, fairly solid. Um, again, Gorn. I nearly put the captaincy on him. I think I mentioned it last week, and I nearly went with him. But he was, again, very, very good. Steph Martin, you know, so much talk about Grundy and, and Gorn. But Martin's been outstanding this season too. Obviously getting loopholed there in the forward line. Menegola, he's an example of a really good trade-in that I did. He was great. Devin Smith turned out to be a really good selection. Um, Heaney, very solid. Robbie Gray, Toby McLean, you know, 
again, you could argue them both ways. McLean served me really well initially, but has really had a slow end of the season. Robbie Gray, while I brought him in, he served me with a couple of good weeks. I'd have to say it wasn't the best trading that I could have done. So um, that's just how it ended up there. But um, look, I will take a look at a few leagues. All the shorty leagues, obviously, we want to have a, a bit of a look at. Um, let me work this one out. Um, so yeah, I'll just scroll through a few of these and and hopefully you, your name pops up and you've, you've had a nice little weekend um, in terms of super coach. But um, yeah, and while I'm at it, I should give a shout out to to Andrew in Ballarat, the uh, cross country runner. I was chatting to his mum today actually, and um, yeah, he had a really good result on the weekend. So just giving you a shout out, mate. Hopefully you're still listening to the videos and um, enjoying them, and and good stuff on the cross country. You're doing really well, mate. And um, yeah, hopefully Supercoach is doing fairly good too, because um, I know you're very keen on that as well. So hopefully you've stuck the course with me throughout the season. I know everyone's interest does wane a little bit but hopefully you've um stuck to the task and hopefully you've heard the shout out but um yeah good stuff mate i just wanted to to give you a shout out but um yeah in terms of super coach to, to all the people that have subscribed me through the season um i really do appreciate it uh, many of you probably aren't watching right now because i know you know the views tell the story it, it really does go down in interest and, and I understand that that's that's fine I mean that's just the nature of it that's totally fair but um, you know I really do appreciate it I feel as if the channel has grown a little bit um, this season I think it's been another positive year for Shorty Superstars and Shorty Supercoach um, yeah I will be looking forward to a bit of time off I guess because you know it does become um, particularly later in the season when you feel as if there's not the audience that there once was it's it's not as exciting but um you know i do appreciate the ones that do continue to watch so here we go obviously a really nice win there to <laughs> i didn't realize his team name was not shorty's team so nicely done there mate well done on the win there pretty solid score as well what league am i in here number two yeah of course um, a nice win there, mate. Well done. Pretty solid grand final. And, and I'm really proud of a lot of my leagues too because they're, they're ranked really well. You know, a lot of them are ranked very nicely in the overall scheme of things. Um, what do we got here? Show you Supercoach 4. Um, yeah, big stuff. Really well done. Nicely done there, mate. Hopefully you guys... All had solid weeks, even if you weren't playing in the finals. That overall rank is always something to hold your hat on. And then we'll just round out with, I think, this is number... What are we looking for? Number one? Always happens to me, this loading business. But, um, yeah, in terms of what I'll be doing in the off-season, um, it honestly won't be stacks. I'll have a bit of a breather. As I said, it's it's nice to... Oh, is this Shorty Supercoach 1? Yeah, so I've, I've clearly got myself a little bit mucked up here. So we got number 2 there. That's the one I looked at before. Get rid of those. That's looked at number 4. We should be looking... For number three. See what we happen in. I think in one of them I went down in the grand final actually. So it might be this one. Well the fella actually knows one of my good mates Langers. Who you guys have probably heard me speak about. And uh, <laughs> got a little bit of lip relayed my way. I didn't even see it coming. But, um, yeah this will load um no nah, might have been another league I'm, I'm not too sure but um well done guys well done good scoring grand final as you'd expect and um you know a really quality league as well so that's great to see but um yeah look as i was saying you know what's the uh 
pre-season hold or the off-season hold. Look, I'll probably endeavour to do um, some goal-kicking videos. Me and my mates play a fair bit of table tennis in the new garage, so you know, that can be a little bit of entertainment, something to keep the channel ticking along. But I will more or less just take a bit of a break because it is nice to just not have that expectation of, of doing any videos because I certainly enjoy them but you know the pre-season for Supercoach comes around and it's intense you know I'm, I'm as I did last year I try and belt out video after video and, and more often than not you're doing six of six a week probably so it really is a fair bit so I do enjoy um, what is probably only three or so months where I'm not doing videos but before we know it it'll be big time Supercoach and we'll all be starry-eyed and optimistic about what next season could hold and you know again I'll be back to the drawing board trying to get into that top 5k as I'm always sort of aiming for it hasn't been the case the last couple of years but um you know it's not always about the numbers you know it's it's a great thing that uh it allows me to do this which is great you know it allows me to have a channel a bit of an outlet to talk to you guys and it allows me to you know have a bit of a subscriber a bit of a following um and it's great when I see you guys outside of just the YouTube community. It's great when I see you in real life as well. So if you see me floating around at the MCG in any finals, say good day. Um, as I said, it's not always about the numbers. Sometimes it's just great. We love Supercoach as a hobby. It gives us something to do. And footy, above all, is what makes us tick. So I appreciate you tuning in. There'll be probably little bits and pieces over the next few months. But um, stay subscribed. Even if I'm going a bit quiet, I'll be back next season. Don't you worry. But... Um, Stay tuned for whatever I do have in store next. Uh, I've enjoyed the season. Thanks for having you guys on board. It's been a pleasure, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.